Hello from TNetDragon.com. This is Jisifu. Today we'll be talking about some advanced knowledge and uh, uh, information about this magic fan in our lineage. As I said before, this is called the Samlo Fasin. Very powerful tool, and you can uh, get it from me when uh, you ordain and such. Uh, basically, it's a most important usage of this is a mobile altar, but there are a lot, lot, lot more to it. So uh, I already introduced this thing in the uh, last video, and so this one we'll be talking about the more advanced usage. So all the energies around you in the air, okay, air, like right here, wow, all the air, energy, right? Everything in this space, okay, the energies in this space is not at a most pure and most uh, what we call the pre-heaven state okay because everything here is already like they're like cells unpacked okay they're unpacked and they already started uh doing like started uh their their system inside the little energy cells okay so everything is already in in the working stage they're not pure so when we're doing magic Okay, doing magic, uh, like for example, we're opening the altar and then we're going to do some uh, foo and such like that. Okay, we're going to do we're going to do magic, or we're going to just open the table right here and we're going to draw foo, whatever. Whenever you're going to do uh, magic, you are drawing in energy from yourself inside yourself and around you to do the magic work. Now, because all these energies around you are not really in the perfect state the most pure state to uh, to, to uh, do anything magical yet so in order to make sure that your work is done with the best possible energy you will need to use this fan to tune or you can say attune or to tune uh, uh, these energies around you by giving it the proper kind of wind or the, the kind of uh, force that push them and and let them change in terms of their property and activate them for your magic uh, usage. Now sometimes when we do like uh, exorcism work for people and such, you have incense and stuff up here ready to send over the magic to the to the uh, patient. Now in order to send the stuff out, okay, just because you did all your work and such, okay. It doesn't mean that it's at the most optimal, the most powerful state yet. Just like, okay, you started a fire, okay? I'm not sure if you went camping or not, but if you actually know how fire starting is like, you need a fan. And then it, it blows up that fire and uh, make it big and hot and, and powerful. So if you're doing a magic, you cannot just, okay, and it's like, fire started it's not anywhere near uh, uh, hot and big and powerful right so if you're doing like say some kind of uh, evil busting whatever thing in here okay you don't just give it the minimal and then set it off that, that's not enough okay you need to use the proper energy to empower this thing and then you can make sure the fire is hot and big and and you know butt kicking and then you can whoosh, and set it off Right, but if if the thing is not ready and not not powerful yet, it's not going to do much for you. So there's a lot of reasons why we need to use the thing. Sometimes when you're doing, let's say, when we're in a magic battle, you need to make your altar stronger than usual, more hyper than usual, in order to do your defense and stuff. Then you will need to use the thing to fan your altar's energy and make it strong, uh, hot, and glowing. You know, you need to have. A tool like this in order to do the proper job now you can't just use a white fan like nothing on it and uh, just to do the same job the fan has the property of doing these things but what's on the fan uh, will tell you what kind of wind is giving you what kind of pushing force is giving you okay so this one of course give you the force for uh, doing magic in our lineage and drawing pre heaven energies from a specific place but let's say you have a white fan that you only draw in white energy and the energy isn't attuned or specially programmed to do work, etc. So we have fans of different types and with different contents inside that programs the wind that you 
you give out. It's just like saying, oh, I programmed the gas and then now this is CO2, this is whatever. So you have different types of wind. That's basically the concept of Fasin Magic Fan. Okay, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Um, remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.